The Year 7 curriculum at DRHS is a really exciting curriculum. We start off um, exploring the basic um, foundation skills, looking at drawing, at painting, um, which students wouldn't have done a lot of at primary school and we teach them how to use a variety of different materials and they explore a self-portrait project inspired by the artist Modigliani um, which the students really enjoy and then we look at the artist Quinton Blake and they create some really cool illustrations. In today's lesson we were um, drawing half of a jellyfish from a picture um, yes, yeah, so we had to use pencils to try and get like an intricate design because they had all the tentacles on it. Um, so at the end of each topic we get a final assessment where we have a marked on things, i.e. how much tone we've created, the shadow, the light outline and the accurate recording of the shape. Oh, my favourite thing about art is like you, there's no teacher just talking in the background, like she'll tell you what to do and then you can just sit down and do it. It's, it's a lot more relaxing just being able to do what, like your own thing rather than having to write a lot of stuff down It's drawing instead, so it's a lot nicer. Um, we know what to do in our lessons because Miss, Miss will tell us, like she'll give us something to do in the lesson. It could be like trying to draw something off the board or copying something down or like practicing swatches or something and then we'll spend the lesson doing that. In primary school we weren't taught the individual skills, it was more so we just got something to create and we weren't taught how exactly to create it by adding the different details so it would become more realistic. It was more just paint a drawing of da da da. It's a lot more often as well, like in my primary school we only had art once a month sometimes and even when it was art she just tell us like paint this animal and then we do it but we wouldn't actually learn anything. My teacher is really nice, she explains things really well and she helps us to engage by asking us questions. So we really challenge our students here by looking at a variety of different artists, we also look at art history um, and we look at very um, difficult shapes and forms for the students to capture and this at Key Stage 3 provides a really good stepping stone to Key Stage 4 and allows our students to really challenge themselves and then at A level they're able to produce some really outstanding work. Um, so, so far we've been doing a related study in our lessons. Um, we've picked our own questions and artists um, and compared them and done an artist copy and research into that. Um, I love art because there's a lot of resources and we have access to all of them um, so if you don't have them at home or something you are able to come in and use them all and you have loads of time to do all that. My, um, my teacher is very accessible, um, whenever I need to ask her a question she's always there, if I need to email her she answers almost instantly, um, if I need her advice she won't ever not give it basically and she's not too critical. <laughs> We have a range of different extracurricular activities. We have a Year 7 Art Club. We also have a variety of different house competitions. We have house art, house photography, um, and we also have um, different clubs such as making the backdrops for the school show. Um, and there's loads of different activities and things to participate in. We also have enrichment for Year 7 and 8 students where they come up and do things like arts and crafts, um, which they really enjoy.